Well, dear Brooke, I just wanted to make a little video for you here, uh, March uh, 3rd, 2019, to you can share with uh, the people that will be helping you uh, take care of the home, the, the Volter House here in Cincinnati, Ohio, in the neighborhood of Clifton. Um, We've lived here 15 years and uh, really taken a lot of pride in taking care of the home. So here in the front yard, we're walking by the, the native and adaptive uh, wildflower garden. And uh, um, that needs to be uh, trimmed back. Uh, the um, stalks need to be cleared out to make way for uh, um, new growth this spring and the rest of the yard is pretty easy to take care of I just mow this small strip here in the front and uh, I've done all the maintenance and work on the house myself over the years it's been a real pleasure I really enjoyed working on it we planted all these trees uh, the second owner David needed to clean up the the property it was uh this the bolters just let it grow in honeysuckle but uh it was everything everybody's contributed to the home david did a lot of foundation work to save it and janet and i have just improved the energy efficiency the bolters built a perfect home exactly according to plan it's a beautiful record. Now this is, uh, as is indicated uh, in the report, uh, we've had some settling here because of driving in. Um, Miriam never drove, so the drive was in perfect condition when we got it, but it's uh, settled. It will be a little while to fix that and, and uh, some of the other um, block issues here. This is the color here, this uh, gray green color that was approved to paint the exterior of the house which we we hadn't painted this is the mini split system off of the addition and uh, one thing we didn't get behind the wood pile to patch the insulating holes that uh, were here they pumped insulating foam up the columns of block and then uh, We've squirted out the vent holes at the top here. But the, the, the drive here is in excellent condition. There's a snow blower in the shed there, uh, an electric chainsaw and a trimmer. Um, these uh, lights here just need to be plugged into a solar panel in the entrance and the the sprite's in good shape. We keep the spotlight on it. It's a wireless uh, doorbell that uh, has the box around here to the, to the right there on the edge of the terrace. So uh, you enter. Uh, this was the original uh, carport patio. And the dividing line was here. Um, the, the, originally, the glass block or the glass uh, windows went in here to the block, and there was a, a glass corner here. But this is the um, compression zone, as typical of right, going into the great room. And uh, Just wanted to show you how the the house operates. Um, this uh, system is a um, heated floor, and uh, we've uh, just uh, have it set at 60 degrees now, just to maintain the temperature so that uh, it doesn't freeze. Typically, we would uh, keep it at 68 degrees. Now, uh, the fireplace. This is the rod that you use. To, uh, to get up to the, um, 
Oh, you can't really see it, but there's a little ring there to the west when it's closed, and uh, and then you push it to the east to open the flue. So these are the um, great doors, uh, 10 foot tall doors to the south. Now they use this key to uh, lower the pins here at the top and then uh, um, you pull the pins uh, from the bottom and then throw the, throw the latch here and then you can uh, go out uh, onto the terrace. Well, once again, we uh, um, had reforested this whole lot to try to cut down on the solar heat gain, which is pretty considerable on the home. And uh, finally, we uh, just hung uh, bamboo blinds on the bays of the house. So you'll find some uh, holes to put cup hooks in there. And then the, the, we just had the seven foot long uh, bamboo blinds that, that hung in each of these bays. It, Except for the ones that the doors open. So this door, this door opens here. The two center doors open. The bamboo blinds were had seen better days, so I didn't save them for you, but they're pretty conventional. You can get them anywhere. The west door is the same. We usually don't leave the pins. They don't really fit anymore, but we just use the latch. Um, the cushions for the patio furniture are down at the bottom of the stairs. Um, back in the back of the house, uh, under that uh, um, black cover is a lawnmower and gas tank and also a blower. These uh, trees back in the back are pawpaws and we have some composting bins here behind the, the, the um, flower garden. And, uh, so there's a, that's a brush hut. There are animal shelters. There's one there and there's one to the north uh, west corner of the of the property and uh, the, the animal and the burning bushes we call it came from uh, 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 a piece of property we don't know the original uh, op work uh, came from uh, Liberty Hill a friend was moving this uh, water Plus it doesn't work here, it never has on our watch. Um, it's, uh, it froze at one time. We bring the hose uh, all the way around the south of the house and there's a, um, a, you know, a hose fitting here that uh, is metered by the um, east side. Now during the, right before the winter, you'll want to uh, caulk, uh, make sure that all the block is sealed so that uh, any uh, water doesn't get into the block and freeze and then uh, destroy the block. And you'll see, uh, I've, uh, this, is, this is, this is just new here. So uh, it needs to be, be caulked. This uh, back uh, crack in the back of the house has this Stayed this way the whole time we've lived here, 15 years, but we do, uh, we do caulk it. It was a bad uh, season this uh, winter with uh, torrential rains and then uh, a real hard freeze, which is just the worst. But you can see uh, here's some uh, caulk. We caulk, caulk everything uh, so that the water doesn't get in it, especially where, where it, it can get in.
So we've painted the inside of the house with that uh, color that was, was approved by the Cincinnati Preservation Association who has an easement on the exterior of the house. Um, for the woodwork, we have used liquid gold, but uh, also the traditional turpentine and linseed oil treatment that we did just recently in preparation for sale is, is a good, good finish treatment. The fireplace works great. Just to pile up your schedule of logs and twigs there and it'll, it'll light right up. Now these drapes uh, are uh, double drapes by coincidence. The first set we ordered was, was white, but they made it in too short a bay and uh, then they redid it correctly. Then we changed our mind to gold, which is a much better color. But the crinkling that you hear is space blanket that lines the, the inside uh, layer. It reflects the heat into the room and then uh, also reflects the heat outside. A conventional gas oven and uh, double ovens here. Um, Janet left the beakers as a right uh, considered homemakers to be a be a chemist. Um, so the double ovens work great. Uh, if they start acting weird, go throw the circuit breaker on and off. Reset the computer. You know that's the window that's out to the carport. And we took all the paint off of the block in the in the kitchen to show the way it was originally, but. Uh, the original kitchen had the sink here below the window. This was an electric cooktop where the sink is now. And we tapped into the gas down below and, and put a, had this cabinet made and electrified the kitchen properly. Took out the microwave that was above the sink. And Dan Kreimer did an excellent job with uh, the cabinet work. Uh, the Sub-Zero just needs to be, uh, the vents uh, need to be cleaned out on a yearly basis that's above there. So I wanted to point out these, uh, these showcase lamps here. These are the original lamps. But uh, we uh, we were able to find a, a LED uh, lamp and replaced it, and it saved the energy, about 90% of the energy of the home. But that's a, an LJY 2-pack E17, 4.5 watt. D-I-M-A-K-E 400-420 LM. It's the 2800K to, to 3000K. And I bought them on Amazon. Uh, so uh, those are what replaces the, uh, the incandescent. Um, these cabinets, uh, we had constructed their mimic uh, other right homes, but behind here is the heat exchanger that can heat this room and cool this room. However, it wasn't, wasn't working the last time I tried it. But that would be nice for the room. The room, it does have heating, the baseboard heating. Oh, these uh, couple of chairs here on the end need to be uh, uh, glued. They, they, they're uh, starting to, uh, move a little bit but no, the other chairs are fine and then uh here down here on this cabinet there's that's the switch for the for the for the lights the outside david was very proud of the home and actually put lights on the on the house to show up show off the house in the e early early evening and twilight uh we turned them around according to James Marston Fitch to light the landscape in a glass house. So uh, it's really stunning to, um, 
turn turn the search lights on. They're 500 watt halogens. You'll have to check on those. We haven't turned them on in many years. So here, once again, the, the sample of what the block was originally here enters into the addition, which uh, you know originally was made for uh, a playroom for the boys, and then Cedric's uh, study, and then finally David used it as his master bedroom and uh, enclosed the carport. These are the proposal drawings that show uh, uh, Pat and uh, Cedric Bolter there standing through one of the doors and, and uh, the proposed uh, maid's quarters here. In the second floor, which we'll see upstairs, it doesn't have a master bedroom. It's a mystery. But here, uh, and uh, this is a cabinet that's reminiscent of Mies van der Rohe's Farnsworth house, a, 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 a wardrobe blocks the hallway that it is in from the carport in, at the Farnsworth house. And there's uh, falling water in the Farnsworth house and uh, Cabousier's uh, Villa Savoy were all contemporaries. This uh, window treatment here on the um, south side of the carport, it needs to be painted. We were able to finish the south side of the house and the, and the trim around the perimeter, but uh, it, it's time. Uh, I had put it on delay, hoping to refinish everything with a natural finish, but uh, my advice is to just uh, upkeep the house properly with, with this, these colors and the solid stain. Now this is um, uh, the bath that we finished. Uh, we found a sink that matched it at the uh, uh, Roush and Strauss house on uh, uh, the Epperly house and we they were going from a two sink to a one sink and we got it. We uh, put in the floor heat here. It can be programmed and this is the towel rack that can be programmed. Um, to heat the bathroom, the rental towel, towel rack. And then uh, our uh, plumbing here is from, uh, inspired from Villa Savoy, Caboussier's uh, 1929 home. And I uh, have the, uh, if you have a drain problem, you uh, need to uh, lift this up. It has a French uh, cuff and it, then it comes out. You just lift it from the below here. And you'll need to disassemble all the piping uh, beneath the, 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 the tub. You can have access to it here. And then the, the, the drain exits on the east side. And you take this uh, pipe here, which is the right length, and you stick it in to uh, the um, drain pole. And then you can fit, feed the, the, the auger right into the tip and you can get leverage to... Uh, um, Clear the drain out. These are all the little tips and tricks that, that we've learned. Um, everything else seems to work just great here. Uh, the cabinets uh, we salvaged from a mid-century modern home that was being torn down in Indian Hill, Indian Hill by Woody Garver. Sort of Cincinnati's uh, caboussier. The meter room here, uh, very conventional. This, uh, these are uh, shades that uh, can block off the um, the carport. They they go into that rail there. It uh, is uh, the west entrance to the carport, and then uh, we have some covers for the chairs. Just uh, uh, covers for the table and uh, regular gas uh, and electric boxes. There's also a circuit breaker down in the basement and we'll go down and see that. Going upstairs, um, Everything is in order. Uh, we did paint the, 
the block here uh, to, to the color that we, we had decided with the Preservation Association. And if you want to change that, you, you need to just cover that with them. Um, there's nothing to report about the bedrooms. These are the most well-sealed rooms in the house. And then we come down to Cedric's room, where um, it's nice. These are some of the original fabric styles that were with the drapes. Um, I have some heating pipes uh, to keep the pipes from freezing, but they don't really need them anymore since uh, I... Uh, had uh, Zimmer Heating and Cooling, who does our annual inspections, uh, he uh, hooked up this thermostat, and you need to keep that at uh, 60 degrees to keep the pipes from freezing here in Cedric's room. The north side of the room is still has a section that has not been painted. There's a insulating panel that goes there, but uh, so to prevent the pipes from freezing, this cantilevered section here uh, is very very susceptible to the pipes freezing. So you want to keep that thermostat at 60 degrees. It uh, worked very well this uh, this summer. Um, Cedric's balcony, uh, some of the area that I had finished uh, um, with the, trying to see what the wood would be like. But uh, in the end, we just, uh, solid stained it to get it done prepare the house for sale it's uh i thought it was a fun thing to do but uh um i i just really enjoy doing it and i don't i don't think anybody else would like to invest in that uh cedric's uh, balcony here is uh, very very susceptible to leak eating so you it always caulk and seal it properly and keep it painted um part of the disclosure was the roof needs to be uh, have a maintenance uh, uh coating around the perimeter and when ray st Clair comes and do that does that i suggest that you have them replace the the uh, deck here in cedric's uh, balcony with the same type of material or whatever they would recommend um to uh, replace this roof. Uh, it's been patched uh, many times with fiberglass on my behalf. Here above uh, the cabinet here at Cedric's room is the original uh, copies of the original drawings uh, that the contractors used. Um, I have, I went to Taliesin and West and scanned these from original microfilm and uh, prints and uh, you can read the boilerplate. The bird decals uh, are needed uh, to prevent birds from striking the windows. Wherever those decals are, the, the bird struck the window, so kind of sad. But hopefully no other birds will. Um, here the air conditioner that's on the roof that was put in by the bolters and then uh, Probably a new unit was put in by the Goslings uh, up on the roof. It's uh, both the supply and the return does very well. The filters on the roof are uh, washable. They need to be washed and replaced every uh, every uh, month during the cooling season. The thermostat typically will keep that at. Uh, this is the thermostat for the air conditioner. We'll keep that at about. Uh, 78 something like that it's much warmer up here on the second floor so in the bathrooms uh very conventional but you can see the windows that i replaced uh, up there uh, with uh, two double pane gilkey windows to seal um, the um, clerestory window area which brings in some natural light Never got around to painting those uh, Talies and Brown. The bathtub area here, everything works well, and and the, and the heater works uh, as well. 
Haven't had any problem with the uh, with the bath here. See the LED lights here on the second floor. I think I've covered everything from. You can see the insulation that I've put on the roof. Uh, 12 inches of insulation. There's two inches on the deck of blue foam that's not waterproof. And then there's two layers of white foam, which isn't waterproof. And then there's an upper layer of blue foam, which is waterproof and they're been ballasted until they they don't blow away anymore and that was approved by the preservation association um, because it was just added to the roof and didn't uh, change anything down here in the basement uh, we do have a little water problem but it's never gotten any worse um, so these are uh, some of the. Uh, don't need that. These are the pads, the Swifter pads, which you use to coat the the, the, the floor. Then we have some uh, window washing uh, utensils. But uh, the floor upstairs is uh, you use this material, the Pledge Floor Care, and then this is the iron oxide. You mix four tablespoons to one bottle and uh, then you coat the floor with, uh, you squirt it on and coat it with a, with a Swifter pad. And uh, I usually paint the perimeters with a brush and then, uh, then, then smear that in evenly. Um, you know, of course, once it's been washed and vacuumed. This is the paint that paint the edge of the insulation that matches the, the flashing. Then we have iron oxide that's used to uh, Pigment uh, Abitron, um, uh, House Bondo, I call it, and uh, I have those uh, formulas. And then there's uh, the red uh, latex paint. And so this is the um, solid stain that uh, initially I could purchase in 2008, but you can't buy solid stain anymore. So we were using the Cabot uh, solid stain base. And then mixing up uh, iron oxides in brown, black, and red in, in certain proportions. It's like 500 um, cc's of uh, solid stain to 300 cc's of brown. And uh, Then red pigment and then black pigment. This is the Sickens. It's a two-part process. And then some hydraulic cement to patch uh, patch the block to keep the water out. There's your hookups for the washer and dryer. This is the other electric panel that we uh, took the power from the previous electric cooktop and uh, so this is the pump to the addition the pump to the second floor and the pump to the to the to the living room which is these solid these silver pipes here the boiler works well the pressure is always about uh, um, 8 18 psi the temperature should be set around I think it's at 140 or 150. No, nothing uh, unusual about the hot water heater. It has a um, expansion tank. This uh, switch here is the switch for the to turn the heating on and off. There's the cushions for the um, patio furniture. That about wraps up, wraps up the tour. And so, um, hope you enjoy your uh, new home, and hope it gives you as much pleasure as it has Janet and I.